So we were driving on our way to Great Basin and you never know what you're gonna come across. We came across this town of Frisco. That's It's now a ghost town, but uh, there is a lot of ruins out here. So we're gonna go and explore it and show you guys around a little bit. I have walked this street a thousand times or more And I hope that I still do when I'm born The past, it is written in stone Though I'm growing old, it can never be untold The past, it is written in stone Everywhere you look, you see just ruins everywhere. And uh, back behind me were the charcoal kilns. We're gonna try and get back over that way in a few minutes. But right now we're gonna take you down to where the town site was. Oh, oh, okay, very cool. I thought at first that it was a, a this building. Is, that... This is where they stop and fill up the steam trains. Oh, cool. I thought at first it was a building, the roof of a building that had collapsed. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Very cool. Is that coal? That almost looks like coal from... No, it's too heavy. No? They put it in the, when they built the buildings here, these, those rocks. This is pretty big. Did, is there anything uh, that indicates what this was? This almost seems like, okay. yeah, it almost seems like something more than just a house. It's pretty big. So yeah, Bob thinks this is probably, or this was probably a bank because of the way that everything was reinforced so well in here and uh, let me see I'll show you something that in here in there as you can see that's um, part of the old railroad tracks that they had they used it to reinforce the inside here get a better shot hopefully you can see that very cool the ruins out here are extensive. This is uh, a very, very good stop if you're interested in any kind of ghost towns. These are some ruins here. I'm not quite sure what this is. I wish they had uh, markings or signposts that would tell what it used to be. Could be could be some kind of loading here too. I don't know, because there's some more equipment right here. We made it up to the charcoal kilns right up here. We're gonna go up there and take a look around. It has a fence around it, but I think we can get pretty close. So we'll have to just see what we see. So I can see these are, um, they were fenced off, but there is a gate where you can come in. But um, 
you can see that you know they're all collapsing and on the inside so but I I don't know if you can tell in the video I'll zoom in you can see how blackened that these were they would put um, wood in here and seal it up I had read that you, they seal it up even with concrete and they let it stay in here for like three weeks and then when they reopen it they have charcoal in here this seems to be one of the best preserved ones so far even this one has some rocks that look like they've tumbled down inside I'm gonna go in and show you oh there's a like a window up there oh, looks like there's some graffiti in here but um, you can smell the charcoal in here it smells like um, or actually it's like a uh, wood burning it smells good as I said before it's fenced off when you get here to the charcoal kilns but here is um, the gate so the gate is open you don't have to force your way in trample over the gate it's open for you to come in today we went through Minersville and then we stopped in Milford and we got gas there's like um, you can pick up drinks and stuff there at the little store at the gas station there's a taco place that's rated really good we didn't stop and eat though and then we took 21 from Milford out and that's how we came across uh, Frisco here this goes down to Frisco like I said if you guys are in this area this is well worth the stop there is a lot of ruins out here to look at um, we were only gonna stop for a few minutes we've been here well over an hour and we could still spend a lot more time out here looking around too but now we're gonna get back on the road we're on our way to Baker and then Great Basin so we'll catch up with you down the road bye guys